Hello, my name is George Lacas and, and I'm the Strategic Marketing Manager for High Power Solutions at Texas Instruments. I'm very excited today to talk to you about TI's new DCAP3 control mode architecture and TI's first integrated step-down DC to DC converters to use DCAP3. DCAP3 control mode provides a significant benefit over the previous DCAP2 control mode in that it provides a much tighter DC accuracy on top of the well-documented DCAP2 control mode benefits, which are very low component count, very fast low transient response, no loop compensation, no need for an external RC synthesizer ripple circuit, and very high power density and reliability. The new DCAP3 control mode back converters are the TPS53513 8 amp and TPS53515 and 53915 12 amp back converters, all pin to pin devices in 3.5 by 4.5 QFN package. DCAP3 control mode provides a significant DC offset reduction, which enables a much tighter DC accuracy. What you see here is the RC ripple synthesizer network that we use with a DCAP control mode converter that takes the very little ripple that comes from the output capacitors that are multi-layer ceramic capacitors and synthesizes an artificial ripple that the DCAP mode back converter needs to compare to the voltage reference. DCAP3 control mode reduces the DC offset contained in this ripple and therefore tightens the t DC accuracy. What you see on this slide here is the significant load regulation improvement, D DC accuracy improvement between DCAP3 which is the blue line versus DCAP2, which is the green line here. This is a 12 volt input, 15 amp output converter, switching at 500 kilohertz, powering a 1.2 volt output. What you also see on this slide here is a DCAP2 control mode converter settling after a low transient event, and you see here that the output voltage does not actually settle back to the original output voltage prior to the low transient event. So there's a DC offset here that unfortunately increases the DC tolerance and provides additional inaccuracy of the DC output. But with DCAP3 that you see here, after the DCAP3 back converter settles from the low transient event, you will see that the output voltage has settled back to the nominal output voltage prior to the low transient event because it has completely eliminated the DC offset introduced by DCAP2. What you see here is the TPS53515 DCAP3 mode back converter web bottable EVM you will find on the TI eStore. This is the TPS53515 DCAP3 mode converter with its 7x7 output inductor powering the load. These are the only multi-layer ceramic capacitors you will need for the output. The complete power solution takes up only 135 square millimeters of PCB area and requires only 33 total components. For more information, you can go to the web link here and to order samples and download data sheets. Thank you for watching.